Hey guys, and welcome back to part 4 of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 playthrough, we're Knuckles. But, and today we're going through Ice Cap Zone, and Sonic is skating on a snowboard like some kind of... The skater on a snowboard. <laughs> Whatever. This is, uh, you're not doing anything for this sec set piece, it's pretty short, but I think it's pretty cool. It adds a lot of personality to the game. Anyway, this is the ice zone of the game. The first dedicated ice zone in the series, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, anyway. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's, uh, at this point I should probably start to mention that, uh, Sonic 3 itself, we're actually almost done with the Sonic 3 portion of the game. Like, we're gonna finish it in this part, actually, believe it or not. Like, yeah, the first four parts are the Sonic 3 content. Actually, I haven't talked about that yet, now that I think about it. <laughs> But the, the first four parts are the Sonic 3 content, and this the rest of the playthrough is going to be the Sonic and Knuckles stuff. So what do I mean by that, if you don't know? Well, again, this game is called Sonic 3 and Knuckles, not just Sonic 3. Because, well, there is a standalone Sonic 3, and there is a standalone Sonic and Knuckles. They're technically two games, but they were always meant to be, like, the one full package. So, uh, Ice Cap itself is actually... Not much to say, it's actually, uh, you use a lot of these, these platforms a lot that you have to spin dash to build momentum up for. Uh, so you can move them, and I th you do some platforming with them later, and it's kind of annoying if I'm being honest. I don't like Act 1 that much. Uh, the enemies are, by the way, this part loops, you have to jump right here on this platform. So you can bust through this pathway and move on. Uh, there's crushing segments, and I'll talk about the bosses when we get there. And some enemies are annoying, like, um, the, f the enemies with the spikes all around, they appear in this zone and the next one, and they're annoying, but the electric shield makes little work of them. Like, the electric shield actually, uh, protects you from getting damaged by them, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, so, back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Originally, this game was meant to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but because of memory limitations, I believe, uh, it would split up. And they had to be two games, so there's Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, and uh, Sonic 3 stands alone, I believe both of them are six zones each, um, if I'm not mistaken, about, I'm not sure about Sonic & Knuckles, but three, yeah, six zones. This is the fifth one, and we're doing two zones in this part as well, so uh, yeah. So uh, that's that's the whole backstory, so I think like Sega released Sonic 3 standalone at the early 1994, and they released Sonic and Knuckles later that year, with, like, Sonic and Knuckles was kind of different in terms of how it looked, like a cartridge. Um, it was different in the sense that you can lock other games onto it, so if you lock Sonic 3 onto it, uh, you get the full game. And if you got, and you got extra unlockables, like if you lock it onto Sonic 2, uh, you get uh, Sonic Knuckles and Sonic 2. So, uh... You know, that's pretty cool. You get to play as Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and they're actually kind of... They tweak the game a bit. I'm not... Well, not much. I'm not actually going to do a Knuckles in Sonic 2 playthrough, because I feel like it doesn't really add much. You're playing through the exact same game, but with very minor tweaks. So, whatever. And you get more Blue Sphere stages if you lock it on to, I think, Sonic 1 or any other game on the Genesis. So, I think that's pretty cool. I, I have no... I don't know why I took this long to mention that, but... Uh, yeah. So that's the full game. So in terms of the Sonic 3 stuff, now that we're getting to a close, um, I'm kind of pretty divided on Sonic 3 standalone because I think half of the game is pretty cool. Uh, by the way, this segment is a vertical platforming segment. You have to platform, like you have to use these uh, platforms to build momentum up to use these platforms to get higher. And uh, if you don't, well, you have to. If you don't, you're just gonna fall down and re-keep keep doing the segment over and over and over again so this part's annoying I know for a fact that I'm <laughs> you see that I'm taking forever on it here but on my test playthrough I did the same I actually yeah even more so actually yeah I, I was here for quite a while it's <laughs> yeah whatever so in terms of like everything I, th I think I like three zones from Sonic 3 and Knuckles and I'm indifferent to three zones from Sonic well Sonic 3 and I'm, I'm indifferent to three. I like Angel Island, Hydra City, and uh, well, the third zone is actually kind of like Ice Cap and Launch Base combined. Launch Base is the next zone we're going to be seeing later on in this part. But I like the 
I like lounge space, I honestly. And I'm kind of... I, I don't really care for Ice Cap Act 1, but I like Act 2. We're actually at the end of Act 1 right now. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, pretty... It's pretty kind of 60-40, 50-50 type game. For me. It's okay. I, I like replaying Angel and Hydra City, but... Uh, and I and I appreciate On Space. I appreciate it even more now that I actually played it and... Recorded it for this playthrough. So I, rem I didn't remember Lawn Space being that fun, because I don't like Lawn Space's uh, soundtrack. And that's another thing I gotta mention. I'm pretty, like, the soundtrack is pretty 50-50 for me, in terms of the levels. Like, uh, again, I think Angel Island's pretty fine, pretty cool. Uh, I like Hydro City and Ice Cap, but that's about it, because I don't care for... I like the mini-boss theme and the boss theme. But, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm actually gonna show something off here for this special stage. There actually is an end to this special stage. I'm gonna keep ascending and ascending, and you eventually reach the end of it. You don't get anything for beating it or whatever, but uh, hey, that's something. But yeah, I like uh, Angel Island, Hydro City, and Ice Cat themes, while I don't like the other three themes. Uh, by the way, this is the mini boss. He's kind of like Metropolis boss from Sonic 2, and. Uh, <laughs> I had 50 rings, so I have supersonic. And basically, I wait around here just to show off his patterns. He just goes in a s s half circle pattern with the orbs. Then he drops the orbs, and uh, like he drops them three on the left and three on the right. And uh, then he, you know, he redoes that entire pattern. So yeah, hit him six times and it's over. Not a tough fight at all. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, Sonic 3 stands out. I think actually Sonic and Knuckles has the better zones, if I'm honest. In terms of both OST and the uh, zones themselves, like appeal... I don't really remember the level design much because I, I haven't recorded the second Sonic and Knuckles segments yet, but um, you know, I think the zones are more fun to travel through. I think the soundtrack is a lot more fun. Because I, I kind of touched upon this, but I feel like I didn't really get my opinion across fully last part. But my opinion on the soundtrack, basically, just in a nutshell, to sum it up real quick, um, I feel like, t like my, the Michael Jackson tracks in particular. I feel like I like Michael Jackson as an artist. I really love a lot of his music, a lot of his work. But as a musician myself, I totally understand the like he left in the middle of the soundtrack. I totally understand the dilemma you're put in when you're. Um, Put it in a role where you have to put out some work, but you're not given efficient tools to create the work you want to create. So you end up, like, you're not happy with what you're doing, and, uh... I totally get how he felt while he was making the tracks, and I totally feel that way while I listen to the tracks, because... Uh, Carnival Night, Launch Base, stuff like that, I don't really care for those songs at all. So, uh, yeah. They're not terrible songs or anything, but it's just like, eh, whatever. It's not, this isn't Hilltop, this isn't Mystic Cave, this isn't Starlight, you know, this isn't Hydra City or Ice Cap for that matter. So, yeah. Anyway, so back to Ice Cap. Act 2 likes to use all of these springy type things. By the way, the Eggman capsules don't hit them because they're gonna damage you. They're kinda like the slots in uh, the ca Casino Night and the bonus stage in this game. If you land on Eggman or destroy the Eggman monitors, you're gonna take damage. So, yeah. But you know, you have used these springy things, and they're kind of like the barrels of doom from the last zone, where you kind of want to build momentum and jump off to get to the super high places, but you don't press up and down, you just land on it, the thing springs you up, and uh, you go where you need to go. And other than that, Act 2 is actually pretty cool, or straightforward rather, in terms of like how it is, because a lot of it is just, we're at the end of it already, I'm just trying to get to a special stage here to show you what happens when you activate a special stage when you already have all chaos emeralds, so... Uh, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You're pr going pretty fast throughout, and uh, it's pretty short. There's actually uh, I I want I forgot to mention this, but I should. There's actually water in Ice Cap Zone. It is an ice zone, so it's kind of fitting. By the way, if you get a special stage when you already have all Chaos Emeralds, you just get 50 rings, which is pretty cool. Uh, Supersonic, I. I don't. I, I barely mentioned him. I got all Chaos Emeralds and I turned into him a couple of times. And 
the only thing that's different about Super Sonic, he acts pretty much the same, but the only thing that's different is he needs, uh, you actually have to use the Entis Shield to activate him, so, yeah. Anyway, the Eggman fight. And basically, he just keeps shooting ice throughout the, uh, er, really cold steam, I guess, throughout, from three different areas, and then he, you just, if you hit, get hit by the steam, you're gonna get uh, encased in ice, and then you're gonna take damage. And, uh, yeah, but you gotta hit him, when you hit him six times, the platform you stand on breaks, and then he lowers, and he actually gets a lot easier, so... Not a tough fight. It's pretty standard. It could give you trouble, though. I know for a fact that that fight used to give me a lot of trouble before. But, you know, Super Sonic doesn't care about that. <laughs> anyway, we're on Launch Base Zone, the last zone of Standalone Sonic 3. And, uh, what do I think about this zone? I think it's pretty cool. I actually like this zone quite a bit. Not the theme, but I like the theme song. Uh, not, <laughs> I, not the theme song, but I like the uh, the theme of the, the zone. Like the theme, as in like what the zone is, what it, what it's like. It's kind of like the uh, I don't know. I guess it serves as the the deck. I think the Death Egg is either taking off or something like it's in the background right now. And there are rockets in the zone, like you can see in the background, like near the end, where it's gonna, like, launch base. Again, it's the base where he's gonna launch the thing into space. I think it's a pretty cool concept for a zone. And, uh, you know, for Sonic 3, it's kind of like a halfway point, like Eggman was so close to launching the Death Egg, but we're here to stop that from happening. So, we made it just in the nick of time. It has a lot of these spinning platforms that just... You ride and they spin and they take you where you need to go. I don't, these weird frog type enemies with chain balls. I don't know. What, okay. Um, and yeah, and a lot, a lot of what you do in this zone. Act 2 has some water as well. But a lot of what you do in this zone is pretty fast movement, really. Not much uh, slow paced platforming like uh, Metropolis or something like that. So, you know, pretty standard zone, honestly. I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, that. <laughs> I do want to talk about that, because I actually haven't mentioned that at all. I think during my entire run through all the three games. But one of the cons I don't like, like one of the things I can hold against the Sonic series, or classic Sonic at least, is, well, it's a it's a game, I think I did mention this before, but it's a game where you go fast, and well, how do you place enemies where you're going fast? Well, there's no really way, no way to get around it, really, other than later they kind of zoom out the camera so that you see what's coming. But for these games, like, uh, a lot of the time it'll just be running, and then you're just going to get hit by a hazard because you're running too quick to see what's coming, and it's annoying. And... I think the worst zone like that, like, there's no way I could have reacted to those spikes in time. That It's just, really? Like, you had to know that those spikes were coming in order to react to them, so... Yeah. So a lot of time you're gonna take damage from things you know you didn't wanna... didn't see coming. Watch out, those things can crush you, by the way, so, uh, careful. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm clearly out of things to talk about with this. Okay, what's under here? Okay, nothing. Let's just move on. Ouch. Take more damage. <laughs> and, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty automated. I'm not doing anything, but it's still fun to look at. And, oh, wait, Eggman! Wait, what are you doing? Get back here, Eggman! What was that? I don't know. Anyway, I just gotta get up here and uh, reach Eggman, see whatever, whatever he's up to. I'm pretty sure he wants to launch the Death Egg, so... Might wanna stop here real quick, hopefully nothing gets in my way, and uh, yeah, let's do... Uh, Knuckles! What the what?! <laughs> oh god, get out of there! He's gonna blow the entire place up! <laughs> wow, Knuckles, talk about... <laughs> okay, that's uh... Oof! I guess they're not playing around anymore. They're out for blood. Well, actually, I don't think Knuckles threw that... Well, maybe. Was he trying to get Sonic with that? I think Sonic is a bit too fast. Get back here, Eggman! Where are you going? 
Oh, what? Mini boss time! Uh, this mini boss, uh, he pretty much uh, he likes to spin those spike pillars around or spike spikes around. He puts them in every once in a while, so you know, just wait till he puts them in. It's actually a pretty easy mini boss because when he, he's down to half health, he's gonna lose one of his spike, one of the sides. So he only has one side of spikes that can damage you, and it's a pretty easy fight. So yeah, your mini bosses are nothing, Eggman. Seriously, that's it. Come on, let's do this. Sonic, stop posing. We gotta go get Eggman. Before he launches the Death Egg or does whatever he want, wants to do. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, Act 2 has a weird chemical plant hue with water. So, like the, the all the tubes and stuff. Like, later on, you actually go in the tubes like you do in chemical plants, so... Huh, okay. And, uh, something else I gotta mention. There's water in literally every zone in this game, except for Marble Garden, in Sonic 3 at least. Angel Island, yeah, there's some water in that. Hydro City is the water zone. Uh, Carnival Night, yeah, Act 2 has water. Ice Cap, Act 2 also has water. Launch Base, Act 2 has water as well. It's just like... <laughs> did, were they really proud of the water? And <laughs> I don't know why they insisted on using it, though. <laughs> Which actually kind of shoots the comment I made about Hydro City in the foot. Well, to be fair, the water is really intrusive. You rarely see it, so... But it's in every other zone except for Marble Garden, so I don't get that. But the comment I made in Hydro City is that, like... The water zone doesn't feel, feel like a water zone because you're going fast and stuff. But, you know, every other zone has water in it. So I guess that counteracts that, so... I don't know. Flamethrowers, watch out for flamethrowers. And, uh, yes. Sonic 3 is pretty much... You know. There's nothing over there. <laughs> there isn't much to say, really. I mean, we're in launch base zone, so... This is the place, I mentioned this, this is the place where Eggman's going to launch the Death Egg, I guess. I'm assuming... Or, well, relaunch the Death Egg, I guess. i rather. So, uh... You know, I I guess he was really proud of it in the last game. So that, like, I know Sonic took it out the first time, but... I mean, I could still make something out of it. I still see the potential in the Death Egg, so I, I'm gonna launch it again. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Sorry, Sonic. And uh, I guess this time he uh, feels like... He, I have Knuckles on my side, that idiot. So... <laughs> uh, so, you know... This won't be a problem, and I'll launch it the second time, and I'll fortify it, make it even stronger so that Sonic can't take it down as easily. And come to think of it, Sonic didn't even take it down the last time. Last time what happened is we just, we went up there, there were literally no defenses, like the instant we landed on the Death Egg, we were already like, it was the final showdown, Eggman had no more tricks up his sleeve, so it's just like, uh, okay Eggman really, is that it? Okay. We destroyed the Death Egg robot. And apparently the explosion is so massive and grand that it takes out the entire Death Egg with it, so... It's just like... I don't know, from, Eggman's, from Eggman's point of view, that has to seem like a major waste of energy and resources. Seriously, like, I built all that and I didn't do anything with it. Like, think about it. I'm assuming his major ground base of operations in Sonic 2 was uh, Metropolis. So Sonic eventually takes that down, so he has to retreat to the Wing Fortress, so... That would take him to his death egg, his final fortress, I guess. And, you know, Sonic gives chase with Tails. Maybe he wasn't anticipating that he, Sonic and Tails had a plane, I don't know. But, Sonic and Tails give chase. Uh, they get to the Wing Fortress, they destroy Eggman there, so Eggman has to retreat to the death egg when Sonic and Tails follow, or Sonic follows. And, you know, at that point, so the only defense left is the death egg robot and Silver Sonic, and Sonic takes those out. And apparently that's enough to destroy the entire thing, so it's just like... You know, if Egg Eggman, if you if that happened in the last game, and you're trying to launch the Death Egg again, there better be a lot more defenses. Oh, by the way, this is one of the paths I was talking about. Sonic can't go through this, Tails can't go through this. So you bet that Knuckles is... this is a path for Knuckles, so, you know. But yeah, uh, there, there better be, uh, like, you better have revised your plans for the Death Egg, and you better have a bigger purpose for that thing this time around, because 
I don't know, it kind of feels stupid to waste all that energy. It has to take a lot out of you to build that thing and get it up to space, and then Sonic just knocks it out immediately. Anyway, speaking of Eggman, pretty easy boss. Um, pretty much opens up this thing and is gonna shoot a cannonball out of one of the ends. If it hits you, whatever, too bad, doesn't matter. Hit Eggman eight times and it's done. The Insta Shield is really good for this fight. It's a nothing boss fight. It's just like, what? So, whatever. And hey, Sonic gets to ride an Eggmobile, and what? Knuckles! Ah, oh, whatever, he's not a problem. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> that <laughs> that's what I mean by I think Knuckles died by the way like the ro not rockets are taken off we're launching the death egg into space and so Knuckles fell down so hopefully he's okay I mean well let's hope <laughs> but that's what I mean by like he's kind of like if you watch the uh, Pokemon anime like something like Team Rocket just like the nuisance type guy, he just literally got on the way and just punched the Ugmoo back and just like, dude, cut that out, seriously. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Knuckles, who cares? Anyway, the real boss fight of Launch Base Zone is uh, this thing, and basically it's a pretty easy fight as well, like seriously, no, no real issue. Um, he basically flies on both sides with three ca ca containers, I guess, or those three capsules. And they shoot lasers when they reach you. So that's it. Just jump on him. Every compartment takes like four hits or whatever. The last one takes one hit. And uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. So uh, who cares? That's uh, that's that's great, Eggman. That's cute. <laughs> whatever. But yes, folks. With that, we have stopped the launch of the Death Egg. Yes, we did it. Launch base zone was pointless. We destroyed Eggman. We foiled Eggman's plans. So uh, that's awesome. Hopefully uh, things stay that way. And with that, we also cap off like see if the de death egg's coming down again. <laughs> with, hopefully with that. Uh, well, well, not hopefully. That concludes Sonic 3. That's the Sonic 3 portion of the game. So uh, next part we'll be starting off with the Sonic and Knuckles stuff. So, uh, I hope you are excited for that. I definitely am. So, um, yeah, to cap off what are, my opinion on Sonic 3 standalone, it's an okay game. I think Sonic 2 is a much better game. Uh, but, you know, I, think, I still think that this is a better game than Sonic 1. I still feel like they still retain the flow um, from Sonic 2, and they retain how levels should be designed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one last thing I want to mention before we leave is that uh, there actually is a, a boss that you fight um, there actually is a boss that you fight standalone if, if you're only playing like Sonic 3 standalone you fight a boss called the big arm boss big arm and I don't know why that was omitted uh, I'm probably gonna show that off in an extra video if I show that off at all um, but yeah for some reason there was another boss fight you fought it was technically the final boss of standalone Sonic 3 and you don't get to fight him if you're playing Sonic 3 Knuckles so that's odd, but uh, whatever. Anyway, so that's it for part 4. Come back next time for part 5 when you start off with the Sonic and Knuckles portion of the game. See you then.